right, and we're back. Skyward a break, leading by eight. The wing balls did not go down. Four railers came along. Uh, looks like dry break, but Shane's going to have to push out. No clear view at the one. Nine ball is in the way. Another pretty tough situation here for Shane. Potentially looking to tie something up. I don't even necessarily mind rolling to, to a jump here. So maybe challenge Skyler or give yourself an opportunity at something offensive. Surveying the situation here. SVB showing some caution today. Still trying to find the gear that we all know he has. Hoping we get to see it. I think we've seen skies. We've yet to see the best of SVB. He's looking at maybe tying up the deuce. seven over into the deuce. Trying to guarantee himself another trip back to the table. suggested the first time rolling out to a potential jump maybe something offensive uh, I think Skyler's going to give that right back to him and Shane goes straight to the short cue uh, he does have a four there that makes the pocket play a little bit bigger this cue ball is going to have to travel two rails more than likely underneath the deuce if he's going to obtain shape this by SVB. Give himself an opportunity to strike. He's unable to cash in on the jump. He's going to give Shane the Skyler some options here. It does look like he's doubled up. It does not look like it passes the nine in the top left and it does not. Maybe potentially be able to uh, play the combo on the eight. He's called the six ball. Sky has called the six in the side under the eight. break there for SVB after the missed jump shot. Let's see if we can get a view of that 6-8. It looks like it will play. Nonetheless, the 6 does go in the corner pocket. tickle it here. That's what he's looking at. He may be able to go into the 
top side of the six here and maintain position on the four and make the rack play a little easier for himself. Doesn't have to do that. Just if he prefers it, and he doesn't. So the 6-8 must be laying pretty nice for him. Considering he took a peek at it, he's gonna go and take another look. Just to ensure that he gets proper on the five to be able to play the 6-8 or get on the six. That's what he's looking at right there. He's looking at the billiard, I guess. He'll be able to play the billiard on the 6-8 and then play the 6 down here in the same pocket as the 5. Looks like that's what he was drawing up. This cue ball looks, looks much better today. Much more control. And he solved it. Connecting the dots now, trying to cut the lead to seven. Shane still has plenty of time, but he would like to cut into this lead a little bit. Put together some racks here consecutively. No real packages today from either player. The break is proven to be much tougher. And that'll do it. 63 on the board for Mr. America. Shane sticks with the same spot. Now he's going back out to the middle of the table. And I don't mind this if I'm Shane. I think, I think he's had more success. He had more success yesterday here, minus a few nasty kisses. I like this spot. There, watch the one ball go down too. Stay clean, deuce. And the seven ball's got him. See if he can maybe potentially see the edge of the ball. I don't think he can pocket it, but can he see it? He may. He may have just enough of that. It's really tight, and a lot of green in between. Almost seven whole feet. Just looking into the crowd tells me that it's not advantageous for him. be able to play a safe here. He may have the edge and be able to bank it toward the three and spin out. Okay. Well done if he can get to the back of the four. Doesn't want a big kiss. I think he's slightly hooked. It's going to be an easy spin shot for Skyler. the other angle here. Yeah, I think he has just the edge of it. And a little safety right back. SVB can see the whole ball. Skyler not too happy with the results there. Shane may be able to go offensive here and play the 2-3 combo. That's what he's sizing up. Send the cue ball around the world. He's playing the three. He's definitely looking to be very offensive today. 
just like he should. Three balls the call, bottom right. Just got to figure out after he makes the ball, what's next? Where's the deuce going to go? Where's the cue ball? Running all those things through his brain. He's got it figured out. And uh, a little bit of misfortune there for the two to fall. Looks like he is blocked on the four from the five. See if we can get a better view there. Yeah, he's fully hooked. Uh, I think we're going to see him kick and try to play this ball on the side. Why well, stop now? Sometimes everything just works against you. And it feels like that's been the story of this match for Shane. Not a lot of things going his way. Some of it's self-inflicted, of course, but that's just the way it happens. He did go to the jump cue. He called cross corner, looking to bank. No cover here. This is an all or nothing. And he put her in the hole. Put that on the highlight reel. He's not out of the woods yet, though. Excellent shot from Shane Van Boning. He's got a long distance shot on the five here. And make sure he maintains shape on the seven. See if maybe that'll be just enough to get him going. Any nice little nudge on the seven ball there. Well played, well judged. SVB looking to cut it to six like he has so many times throughout day two. Very frequently been our score line is Shane trailing by six. Still got a little work to do. As you see our mini replay in the top left. A little picture in picture action. Sweat this. Two for the price of one here. And where's this cue ball going to end up? Is he going to have another tough look at the 10? I think he is. Yeah, this is a whole entire rack hitting the highlight reel. Man. Looks like I'm going to get a partner joining me back, Chip Compton. Hey, what's up? Man, what an out here. You, I don't know if you saw it, but I saw the unbelievable out. Was it? I saw so, the eight, yeah. So, yeah, the eight was the eight was uh, one of the easiest shots of the rack. He uh, he made a jump cross corner as, as, as far as you could. Right here. Oh, here, here it is. is. Oh, I saw that, yeah. Instant replay. Wow. Watch this. Gens it. Has a long distance five afterwards. Made it. Took wow. the seven into position. What a shot. Yeah, but he, he started off with a 2-3 combo. Um, and that's then, a and big game, it, so it's still, is it going back and forth still? Six games, man. Has it, it been between seven and five the yeah, whole time? No, pretty right. much. I mean, we've seen we've seen some, some eights. We haven't um, seen it get to ten or get under? Well, early, early it got to ten and eleven a few times. Oh, yeah, that's but, right, and um, Shane, made, Shane, yeah. broke, Shane did break and run three couple, or four. Yeah, yeah. but that's, he, you notice he's back out to the middle of the table again. He uh, was trying his luck off the end rail. And a perfect cue ball there, Chip. Watch out for. It's going to get clean. All right. The one to the two. It's going to be his biggest challenge here. Yeah, looks like he's going to bloat it up with inside, high inside, and come around. But the, tie, the five's tied up, too. Yeah, the five's tied up, but I, I I think it let's let's take a peek here. I think it goes in this corner. I think it does go in yeah, the corner. Yeah, let's take a peek. Yeah, let's, I see you over there taking a peek. Let's take a peek. Yeah, yeah. Two. Does it look like it looks like it goes in the corner to me? Doesn't it to you? 
Yeah. And you're right, he's going to go with inside English, travel three rails here, maybe even potentially touching the fourth. Oh, yeah. he hammered it. Yeah, be careful. Watch out, eight ball. Oh, he's well, going to be perfect. He's going to be fine, yeah. yeah. Only thing I worry about, this five may go, This it goes in the corner here, yeah, I, think. Yeah, yeah, I think. So, so yeah. as long as he gets good position on the four here, he should be okay. Yeah, I think he's um, yeah, he maybe a little steep here. He is. It looked like he ha I thought he was going to be on the end rail almost there, but it slowed down a lot. He's he's all right. He can go He can go up, up and down. And down but and yeah, but you don't really want to be – I don't know if you really – I don't know. Maybe he'll just play to play the four down here in the bottom right. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Um, I was just about yeah, to say, you don't so now he's too flat. You yeah. don't want to be on that side of the four because then you got to mess with this eight and ten if you're coming up and down. He's he's looking to see if the if the five ball goes in the top right now, Chip. Do you see that? Well, he's coming over here. He's he's looking. Oh, and the top right just draw it back. Yeah, he's gonna, by the six. Or yeah, he's right? gonna pull it. He's gonna pull the cue ball under the six here, and he's gonna play the five in the top right. Just like a little pinch so, draw. No, but you don't want to get hooked. It just. Uh, uh, he's okay. He is okay. He is okay. He is okay. Just danger zone a little bit there. You but just you know, like I said, if he would have if he would have opted to play the four in the bottom right, he would have been guaranteed to be able to play the five down here. Yeah, no, you're 100 percent right. Yeah, I mean, it was almost impossible with the angle that he had on the deuce to hold the cue ball enough to stay on the right proper side of the four if he was yeah. to play it in the side. And I f I still feel like that's part of him being uncomfortable too. Like these these outs that he he's making great outs. Don't get me wrong, he's always going to do that, but he's just yeah. kind of making. Even the the easy outs look tough. Uh, that's what happens kind of when you're out of stroke or, you're, or yeah. not out of stroke necessarily, just not comfortable. And we're we're so used to him making the tough outs look easy, not the easy outs. Look yeah. Easy. What's the so elevation about here? I guess he. Uh, I guess he can't see. Uh, uh, can you? Can we get that view again? Let's, let's, I mean, he can see the whole ball. Uh, uh, yeah. What's uh? All right. I mean, uh, maybe he has to throw the five just a hair. I don't know. You got some a better view? No, that's definitely not a better view. This is the best view we got. Um, Looks like you can see I, it, but I, if he's getting a cue, junk cue out, he can't. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the heck he's doing here. He must not be able to see it, like you said. And he saw it just fine with the short cue. SVB. What a shot. Great shot. He's putting them together. I tell you what, it's like I said, it's just one of those things. You've played in matches like this. You've had tournaments. You've had weeks. You've had months. You've had probably, you know, six-month spans where you just feel like everything is working against you in pool. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what's going on right now for SVB. I think so, too. And then, I mean, you never know. You could be playing a match, and it just everything starts starts uh, going your way. It's a pool's a – it's a – It's like poker. Yeah, it's. I mean, it is a lot like poker in that sense, but. Uh, and especially on the bar table, there's so much. There's so much luck involved. At yeah, there, there is. No, there is. But it just seems like when it rains, it pours. It is. Yeah, you know, I think a lot of that's mental too. Just kind of creating your own roles and all that. Mm -hmm. But. But even on the outside looking in, it just seems like if something can go wrong for the guy right now, it has. He's getting out of a lot of it, which yeah. is uh, it's unbelievable to watch. I mean, it, I'll tell you one thing right now. They're going to have a heck of a highlight reel. Oh, for sure. Like, it, like But, I mean, I think that part of that is he's out of line. He's right. getting out of line yeah. a lot, so he's having to come with it. But, uh, but I mean, you you almost have to, like, get unlucky to hook yourself on the six. Oh, the five yeah. there, like, no, you do for sure, like, yeah. You know, I mean, now, granted, oh, wow, watch oh out, watch out. God, he did. Watch out, scratch. Oh wow! Wow, dead perfect. Wow, just like right there. Did you, was that necessary? I'm. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I, I, you can be honest. I mean, that's a no, what a shot. What, what a shot! But I don't. I don't even know what to say there, Chip. That honestly. was some great. Shot. That, that was, was unbelievable. Incredible. Yeah. Like, I mean, there yeah. he is, cutting it to five. <laughs> Here he is. Boom! Down. See if he sticks with the same break. And he, he just, you know, he's he's actually starting to show some positive emotion right now, which is a good thing. Let's see if we can get that stat tracker up here. It, it almost look at that 550 to 553 balls pocketed, oh almost wow. dead even. 
through unforced you know. errors, thirty-two to forty-two. Man, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna need to like clip that whole rack. That run out was. Uh, just said the last two. Yeah, last two run out. It was fight on the run out was just yeah, insane. Yeah, perfect position on every insane. ball. Insane. Insane. Phenomenal, <laughs> phenomenal play. Just 20, like Steven would do it. Twenty-eight breaking runs for SVB. Thirty-four for Sky. So he's got him by six on the breaking runs, and the score is five. Yep. Wow. So that's there it is. Well, I mean, you think about it. Sky opened up day one with seven. With seven, man. And Ooh. Shane's winning since then. Oh yeah, yeah he, he is. Just, it just feels like Shane's just getting beat to death to me. It does. No, you're 100 percent right. That is, it's weird. It's, it's weird. So weird, isn't it? But nonetheless, it's also different. We're in the booth. I mean, you know, you're in the booth most of the time, sweating it. So it's like you're seeing everything. Like, everything. How is the score? What it is? Like, right. It's, even it's if you're at crazy. home, if you haven't watched every rack, if you have watched every rack, I hope you feel the same way. No, our, for sure. We're, it's we're accurate on that. Shane faced with an opening bank here. I like him to make this and, and run out, to be honest. Pretty easy shape on the three. Just going to roll this in, I would say. Yeah, it's pretty natural. There you go. And perfectly done. Bump the three straight in. Bingo, bango. Looking to make it four. See if Shane can keep it together. We've seen uh, easier racks become very tough for him. Yeah, it's just position two, man. He he hardly misses. Like yeah. any, even the tough shots he makes, but just position really. I'll lay you ten to one here. Yeah, well, but yeah. still, I mean, oh, maybe even more, but you know <laughs> what I mean, though. No, but I mean, it's still you still feel a little uncomfortable doing it. You know, if it was Dennis right now, I'd be like, oh yeah, I'll lay you thirty to one. Yeah, but and I, I honestly, all players get a little bit like yeah. that sometimes at, at some point. The new OB Fusion is the next evolution of carbon fiber shafts. Featuring a strong carbon fiber core wrapped in highest grade solid maple, it provides the strength and stability of carbon fiber with the look and feel of a traditional maple shaft. The OB Fusion, a wolf in sheep's clothing. Mentally and just for the match. Yeah. Know, good. Well, historically, day two has been SVB's day in hey these long races. From Sandites, the last food order is going to be taken at 11.45, but let's not wait till then. If you want to get something from the kitchen, let's try and get it ASAP so we don't slam them at 11.45. That would be very nice. If you want food, go ahead and get you some now. And we're having a last call for a cheesecake here. I think we're going to see Sky maybe check the rack here. No, he didn't. Shane spent a little bit of time on it. I wonder why. <laughs> He's got a little guilty look on his face like he might be gapping her up. you got to pick your times. So we're going to see which balls go here. I'm going to bet the nine goes right in the side. Yeah, nine and the six got the best chance, but he's... As of late, the four railers have been going for him too. Nine, Nine and, and, six. and six. One got eight. Kissed. Kiss. Oh, man. Kiss. Oh, he got he got pretty brutalized there, to be honest. And where's he gonna push to? Yeah, where's he gonna push to? What's he gonna oh, do? Oh. The one was going right in the corner and that's what he pointed out and it got kicked up there. Oh man, that but was honestly he broke those as good as he can. Yeah, look at the cue ball. Just dead center. A little pop. Made both of the wing balls. What do you do here, Chipper? I mean, honestly. He's going to have to push out or, or, or kick it. I mean, there's no, no good kicking at this ball. There's definitely no good kicking at this ball.
I mean, honestly, I don't know what you do here. Uh, the push-out's tough. You can't really kick at it. I mean, what are you going to do? He's got to push. He's got to push and, and uh, I don't know, maybe try to tie something up. Um he, he got a pretty bad roll on this break. He broke those as good as you can break them. Let's see. Let's see if the one. I mean, does the one even have a pocket? Does it even matter? Push. Called the push. Obviously. I mean, is there anything offensive on the one? Or anything that he could push to that would be difficult? but doable. He's pushing up in the top right hand corner here. He's probably going to get this one back. I mean, what's, yeah, what's. I mean, Sky's giving this back, right? I mean, what's yeah, what's he going to do? I mean, you got to, you got to pump fake and act, look at it, but. I mean, look at what. What are you going to do? Well, I exactly. mean, I wouldn't yeah. get out of my chair there. I, no, I know, but you got to, you know. Yeah, I mean, what, what, but what? A little acting. What's he doing? Pool players are pretty good Shane, actors. Shane looked like he is something that he really liked here. I mean, what? Yeah, the I one, the one ten? Is he playing the seven? I don't know what he called. I mean, obviously, just all safe here, right? Good thing. Or just cut the or one just in shoot and run out. Oh, what a shot! What didn't a shot! Didn't we didn't like see. We didn't think that went. Um, all kinds of things well, going on there. We had Scott didn't think it went either. Scott didn't like it either. Yeah, and he looked at it. So, what a shot yeah. by Shane! To be honest, that was. Yeah, uh, that's, that's what I said. That was. This is like a turning point right here. This is. This right now feels like an opportunity for Shane to steal control of this match, having not played his best pool, and and take a lead. Definitely. Yeah, it it almost seems like he knew exactly where what he was doing, pushing out there too. Yeah. Like he, like he just li he's he not gonna take it. I'm gonna end up making this and running out. Like he, it's almost like he knew what was going on there. It was an unbelievable push. But what it was, it 100 percent yeah. was. I never, I did not see that. That's one thing I really like about Shane's um, when he pushes out, which is he pushes out much different than uh, other players. He does, but he's he, but really awesome. well though. Like uh, even yesterday when we were commentating at the beginning of the match, he. You know, he pushed out to that tough, thin cut on the two. Skyler passed it back. He cut it and run out. And then he pushed out to the same thing again the next game. And then Skyler cut it in and, and scratch. He won both. He's won almost every push out that he's yeah. pushed out. It's pretty. Which is is very rare. You it is rare. A person pushing out at a, at, a, at a nice disadvantage. I, he pushes out uh, really, really good. Which, I mean, that's not surprising. Well, it's just so much different than what other players do. You know, yeah. other, other players normally look to tie something up, just extend the game. He's pushing out to a tough offensive shot that he's going to go for yeah. and, and make and run out. Yeah, and that, uh, that somebody else is going to say, hey, you go ahead, man. You, you <laughs> take it on off. Shoot yeah. that if you want. Yeah. Yeah, Chop yeah. it on in. Yeah, he <laughs> just shoots it in. Well, what a shot by Shane, and what a what a great out uh, down to three games. Three games. TPA sticking pretty constant there, sticking at 931. It is not many not many mistakes or missed balls by either players. Curious to see if he sticks to the center break, or if he goes back to the to the rail. He always pump fakes us here. Going back out to the middle. I just want to see him let go one here. And the four ball like it had eyes. Is he going to get a look on the one? Maybe a, a rail first. <laughs> not kidding. And he does have a shot here, Chip. He is going to be able to spin underneath of that seven ball and, kick and make it, the yeah. one. What's he going to do? Oh, he's oh, he can play. He can come right out for the two. Pretty inside. natural for the deuce. He's going to have to more than likely play a combo on the three seven. Mm -hmm. We've seen Shane do this little measuring technique. He uses this all the time. He does. I, I, I like that. He likes to get a little visual, like a visual of it. Yeah. But, uh, 
And, and he well. kicks good. He, he hits a lot of these little he hits uh, these shots, good. shots good. Yeah, he does. Those, like jinxing, but he does. Yeah. He hits them well. Those and the, the, the goofy caroms, he hits really well, mm-hmm. too. It's like he, he bears down extra hard on those or something. Yeah, it's it, it kind of feels like it. anything that's a challenge to him, he really loves. Did the cue ball get away from him here? No, he's going to be okay. A little bit. He does have the corner available. Um, and actually, I, th- I do think he will take. I do think he will take the corner here. What do you think, Chip? Do you see him taking the corner here and maybe playing short side on the three? I like the Trying corner and short side, but about the, fi- the five. Yeah, I think he can do. It. Yeah, shoot the, He's got to shoot it in the corner. Shoot it in the corner and then try to slide right down where the five is. I'm not sure. Or he's shooting in the side and play the three-seven combo. I like shooting in the corner. Well, and, if, and he, if he shoots it in the side, he's it's hard to hold that ball. He's going to have to mess with the. The 10? Yeah. No, I like your shot shooting in the corner and trying to get shape right here. Is he going to try to bump it? No, he's just going to play underneath and shoot it up in the corner. Shoot it in the corner. Got a nice angle. Well done. Well judged. Exactly what he drew up. So now he'll probably punch this ball in the corner and try to probably bump the 7 and Mm -hmm. shoot this 5 down in the corner. Same corner. Closest that this match has been here in day two. It is, yeah. Shane looks like he's getting more comfortable with every rack too. It's uh and this isn't a hanger. He's got he's he's making sure the, the point's not sticking out there. He's gonna get a, the fuzz off of it. That's a pool player deal there. But look at his demeanor, look at his face. I wish we could see it on camera. He's it's getting a, a little more serious. Different he's person. getting a little more serious. He, he realizes it's getting close, yeah. and these are all big games. You know what I think it is? I think he's just getting out of the negative mindset. Yeah. I think I think up until this point, he, he's just been negative Nancy. He has. He 100% has. I think he's he's finally starting to see a little glimmer of hope. Shoots it right in the hole. He stroked that. That was a good stroke he put on that one. Not a difficult shot by any means for him, but just – Put a good stroke on him. But needed to concentrate. Had to shoot it past the point, which is not always the easiest to do on a diamond. And looking to clean these up to cut it to two. SVB starting to come into his own here a little bit. He is. Trying to get you paid on your over and a half, eight and a half. What is he, what is he on right here? This will be two, I believe. Oh, this will be two? Hey, he only needs six more. Seven more. I can't wow, this will be two. Hey, uh, Joey, <laughs> hey, Joey said that he thinks that the over under should be set at six and a half now. Oh yeah. What do you think? I think, you know, Joey matches up a little tighter than I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, he never shoots at his hole, so yeah, that's expected. There it is, yeah. All right, SVB. Seventy to sixty-eight. Getting a little snug here. And let's check out the stat line. See if we can see anything. Break and run packages. Getting a little closer for SVB. 15 of them. Still his highest break and run package is four. Sky's a seven. His first seven racks of the event. Oh, so, okay, so I got a silly question. And I think I already know the answer, but I just want, I want Chip to verify. So Shane breaks. He pushes. Sh- uh, Sky never gets to the table. Would that be considered a break and run? No. Because no. okay, your because your opponent never shot. Doesn't matter. You can't. There's no pushes involved in break and runs. Okay. It's not a break and run. All right. Your opponent had an option. What would you consider that? Uh, a push and a win. Push and a run out. Push and a run out. And here we are. Yeah, it couldn't be. It, it, it's not I supposed d- to be considered. And I didn't think so. But if he's putting a package together, it shouldn't be. Con- it's not considered. It's a not break. a package. That's right. Yeah. I, I was thinking he was on two, but he wasn't. He pushed that game. That's what we were just uh, talking. Well, about. that would have been like five, I think. So he's on four now. No, he's on one. He's <laughs> on two now. Well, here we are. <laughs> and the six seven tied up. A very difficult look at the at the one. Here we are. He's looking at chopping this ball in. He's counting how many times he can go back and forth and obtain shape. He's counting how many breaking runs he's he has. Like, Did you see that? He went. Well, he, he took his finger and, and was drawing a line. How many times he's going back and forth? Boom, 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 <laughs> to try to figure out the speed in his head. He's going to chop it in. He's going for the cut. I mean, he want to be. Almost where the cue ball's at now. Yeah. This is good. He's going to be good here. Yeah, he's going to be right in the window. Yeah. 
And he's not out of the woods, though. That 6-7 is, is going to be a problem for him. The good news is the four is right there, and he, it is available on the side, I believe. So he can play a breakout from that. He's got to still maintain position here. Getting back to the three is not the easiest. What do you? How do you? How do you like playing this? this I like side. coming through those. You like you like the high inside route here. Yeah, high inside, and you get to let your stroke out a little bit. Drawing it's just kind of. Well, the set you might run into the seven, and yeah. six, and he may be drawing it too. I, I feel like uh, inside, but you know, if he, if he draws it, it looks like he's going to go in between the eight, nine. No. Oh, okay. Well, able to draw through there. Yeah, that's doesn't want it to get on the rail. I'm not sure what he's upset about. That's what I. That's it's what I keep perfect. He can just roll it. He can just roll it in, and then take the angle on the on the four and break the six out. There's been so many times where he's been in this position, and he's just upset he's about the shape. He's or something. upset about something, and he should and be he's happy. Got shape. Yeah. yeah, he's like perfect. I mean, the ball's laying in the side. He just needs an angle on the four to be able to peel the seven off of the six. It's available. It's leading him right to it. Of course, he would like to be a little bit closer and it to be a little bit easier, but. It's definitely manageable. Don't try to get cute here. And maybe he's that's all right. why he's Yeah, but good. he's all right, though. He can now still yep. corner. This is actually probably better. Might be better, yeah. He's yeah. going to have to hit a little harder to get it But that's okay, though. Yeah. It's hit it a little bit harder, and he's going into the six ball. Let's see if we can get the overhead here, and we can see the exact angle. And handled perfectly. Perfect. SVB looking to cut it to one chip. I honestly, about 20 minutes ago, I didn't think that he was um, going to get it under six for the rest of the event. Here he is looking to cut it to one and, and potentially tie it up. I mean, if all things were equal here, he'd be a favorite from this spot. Down one and breaking. It's pretty incredible. Uh but it's this close for sure. And you got to wonder right now if you're Sky, what's going through your head? You know, put yourself in the situation. Chip. Well, he, I feel like he's played great. And well, he's almost even. Yeah, it's just kinda, just think about that though. How like, much better could I play? Put yourself in that spot. What's yeah. going through your head? That's what I, it's exactly what I would be thinking. How much better could I play? But well, he's made a few errors, but he's, he's made a few errors, but he's broke. Great. He's done, he's played really solid. Played very uh, well. I, mean, he's I got think a 9.45 TPA. It's yeah, pretty he's played, and he's still, you know, Shane ain't played his best, and it's almost tied. It's scary, almost. Yeah, and we, you know, I said. I it know earlier. Fedor don't want none of none of that. Yeah, maybe not. You I'm know, just kidding. I hope he's listening. And Sky up to look <laughs> at the rack. Look at that boom! I told you. He did. Close. You have a couple, well, you have a couple successful breaks. He just wants the check to keep him honest, right? Exactly, yeah. Because th there are opportunities where I'm sure Shane is going to slide in a little gap. Oh, and for he should. sure. He yeah. Should. I mean, look, worst case scenario, Sky goes up and checks it and you got to rewrite And they've gone back and forth a little bit. They've both checked it a little. Yeah. Which I, I like it. I like the. I, I like him. Eight ball had eyes. It, it, at least it shows they they care. Oh, for sure. We're going to have another. I don't think he's going to be able to dice this one. He squat. Both of them are squatting wide, and but they're yeah, both breaking great. He's got sideboards with the the cross side on the four. Let's see if we can get this overhead view. It looks like he can bank that cross side. Oh yeah, and you got a lot. Like huge. The, yep. Three ball laying over the hole. Not a ton he has to do other than get the cue ball in the middle of the table. You like shooting this? You like shooting this one? Yeah, I like shooting. Oh, well, of course. I, you know I would shoot. You know, shoot, shoot a white flag. Shoot it up. Yeah, well, shoot it. Like, look how big that but pocket's size of my head. And it's, well, that's big, but this is a natural, <laughs> natural path for the cue ball. Yeah, it's. Watch out. Ho, ho, ho. He wants it to hold on. Good shot by Shane. All right. Let's see if that four is available on the side. It looks like it is, but he, he may just slow roll this one in. And leave the cue ball right where the three is. I would imagine that's probably the the play here. Is that what you would do, Chip? Oh yeah. He's, he's or just I just kind of kind of like just roll it. Looking at there. I like yeah. What is he doing? I, I like just rolling it in. Just, just roll it in. Roll it in. Shoot the shot. Play it in the side. Play it in the corner. Whatever you want. Anything I mean, you the want. Five's laying over the hole. The last thing you don't do. don't make it too. Don't do anything. Don't do anything. Just, just make this in. one. Make the next one. They're all hanging. 
Yeah. Like I, I like that he's taking his time, but it's almost like he's overthinking a lot of these little, like mm -hmm. these outside. Like roll it in, shoot to four, shoot to five. It's all they're all there. He looks like he's gearing up here to go three rails or something. Yeah. I don't get it. I was telling I you, that's off the air. I mean, that's, he, he's going to get out. He's going to get out. That's off the air. You land short here, and you can't even shoot the you ball. You can't shoot at nothing. Yeah, that, I just – and uh, when you can just roll it in. You can just leave the cue ball right where it yeah. is. I, I mean, mean, he is him, and we are us, but – But that doesn't matter. That's just, you know – he thinks that's a little different. But I it's guess. still introducing risk that, that's unneeded. Exactly, yeah. It's almost like he, he's playing big table patterns when he when he doesn't need to. Yeah, I mean, you're three and a half feet away from the ball, and it's laying in the side. I mean, you get the next ball laying in the side. I don't Yeah, move your cue ball three rounds. A little short here. Yeah, I think he wanted an angle. It's okay. Yeah. I'm not I mean, it's still just not, not where he'd want it. Yeah. Nonetheless, he's still looking to tie it up. Yeah. I mean, I'm not trying to put my quarters up or nothing. Well, I mean, but listen, to to say that you think he makes a bad the bad shot or the wrong shot doesn't mean you're wanting to put the quarters. No, up. No, for sure, but it's just like, man. But I mean, listen, we got the overhead view, we got different view. Sometimes it's like we said earlier, it's easy to get tunnel vision when you're over there playing. Yeah, it is for sure. Either way, he's he's um he's out really either. cleaned up. He's really cleaned up here, putting together a nice streak of racks here. Showing a lot of grind, really. He, no, he really is. That's the one thing. 70 to 70. Sticking out to me is the grind of SVB. He is. No matter how out of it we all thought he was, he's still here at 70 to 70. He didn't even 70. hit a gear. No. That's kind of scary it's, right it's there. It's really scary. you got to be scared. You, I mean, not scared if you're Sky, but you got that's got to have you like. I mean, I would. I mean, what I do would, I got to do? Yeah, I mean, I, up to this point. If you've watched the whole entire match, it's Skyler's safe that play to say though. it's safe to say that Skyler's the favorite. Yeah, right? I think so. Like yeah. I, I think he breaks the balls better. He runs out cleaner. He's playing safe better. He's playing safe better. His cue ball's been better, and we're tied. And we're tied. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Pool's a crazy game. Crazy, crazy game. After 140 games, even. No, that's incredible. It'd be different if it was like a race to 21 or something. We'd just say, what a joke. What a joke. <laughs> but I mean, it's 70 to 70, 140 racks, all square. Here we are, SVB looking to take his first lead in day two since 14 to 15, I believe. That's wow. Trailed for seven to eight for most of the day. Gets both of the oh, wing balls to go down, and he's going to have a nice look. I think the two does pass the eight. Uh, it's tight. What do you think, Chip? Your eyes are better than mine. Is the two deuce past the eight? If I don't not, think so. I don't think so, but but he can come around. He can come around and maybe go. It maybe goes past the four. Mm -hmm. The four or combo or. Mm -hmm. I can uh, I can usually call out what players are going to do. Shane, Shane is a little different though. He he. It's like he uh, plays shape a little different than a lot of players. Yeah. And not you know not just talking about American or or whatever, but a lot of top players just play a little different patterns and and different uh, shot selection than him. So it's hard. It is hard to call his he what is, he's going to he shoot. Tough. So other than this is a good shot here. He's got it straight in the corner. And I oh, think he's shaking his head. What's he shaking his head? But he, I think he's straight in. <laughs> he's perfect. I mean. <laughs> But uh, that's what I'm. He keeps doing it. Like, get the negativity out of your man, out of your mind. Yeah. Like, be positive. You, I mean, you just cut a ball in that was a pretty tough shot. And you're straight in. And you're straight with in. an angle for shame. You're not exactly where you wanted to be, but I mean, you're perfect. Yeah. And you're looking to take a lead here. Just introduce some positivity into your brain, and and, and you're going to run away. I think. No, I agree. Yeah, like. Can't you can't shake your head. You're straight that. in. Like, what are you mad about? You know, it, it's couldn't have put it better with his hand. Right, right there. <laughs> exactly. That's where he would have put it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's crazy. Pool, but you know how pool players are. They want things to be more difficult than they actually are. Yeah. Or look more difficult than they actually. Are. A lot of guys do that. I don't like doing that personally, but I know <laughs> I know guys that do. So, I get it. But I mean, I I don't know. I, maybe it's just that's how bad he wants to win this yeah, match. I, yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, listen, I know a bunch of people don't want to talk about it because it's the Team USA thing and everybody They got into it this morning. They got into, did you hear them? I was eating a steak over there yeah. before they were playing and they were 
yelling at each other. Not yelling at each other, but they won't even talk to each other. And then, you Wolfing know. Wolfing at each other. Well, I mean, listen. Everybody gets their hair up about the Moscone Cup. And you got to be a patriot. And you got to root for your team. I mean, I don't even know what that means, honestly. I really don't even know what that means. It's pool. And it's not, you know, it's, it's not like it's the Olympics or something. But nonetheless, these two guys, Shane did not get to represent his country in the partners match. And he's been there the last 20 years. As he should be. As he should be. He didn't get an opportunity to this year. And, and you know, obviously me and you talked about it. It's crazy. He it is always, crazy. He should always it doesn't matter country. what he's like. In the form he's in right now, he should be always. Always, like he's always got his head on straight. He's right. not like he, you know, right. he's he should always be on our team. So because he has a sponsorship by Q, doesn't mean that um, he should get blackballed. No, it's it's a uh, it's a whole matchroom deal or, or nice, you know nice predator or whatever it is. Yeah. But you know, I don't know what it is. Yeah, that's what it was. Predator was sponsoring the event, and they wanted him to wear a predator patch, and, and, and you know he's sponsored by Q Tech. Yeah, they're direct competitors. Yeah, it's you, you, you know can't be the face of a company like Shane has been for years. And, and he's go, the best go American go player. Sh- he's the best man with a predator. Pack. And and, oh, and nothing against like Billy. You know, I love Billy. Billy's a great player. Skyler's one. Of the, you know, they're top yeah. players in the country. Love those kids. They're awesome. They can represent our country anytime. But Shane is our best player. Like, our he's best not going to be there. Yeah, he should be there. Yeah, you know that's just kind of wild not, to not be there. I think it. I think it, it, really it hurt him. him off. I yeah, think it hurt him. Yeah. It did. Shane with his first lead. Shane with a nine pack right here. Nine pack, but <laughs> but yeah, I think that's what it is, man. And then and then the, and then they took to Facebook, and and Shane made a couple comments about the mullets, and you know I mean rightfully so. I mean it, listen, you can go over there with the freedom flappers and do all that if you play good. You can do whatever you want if you win. If you're playing good and you win, you can do whatever do the hell you want to do. He said we lost, we got tortured, cut them off. Yeah, like <laughs> like yeah, we lost. They're over there joking around about their hair. Get them off TV. That basically is what he's saying. But here's the thing. I'm not going to take a side one way or the other. Oh, I couldn't either. Man. But I'm I can tell you this. A lot of people feel the exact same way. Some people like it, depending upon what state you grew up in. Oh, and I think it's awesome, man. They're, you know, yeah, they're they're making a name for, for American Pool and all that. Something different, right? You know. But at some point, you know, let's get down to business. Let's play some pool. All right, looks like I'm going to get a little sub here. Mikey, you need a little break anyways. Yeah, I need a little break. You've been at it. Sip on the tea. I'll be back in a few. Let Shane run. Hopefully he runs nine here. I want to see a big package. Oh, yeah. Mike DeLotter in the house, folks. I'm going to take a little step out. He's going to hop in, talk about some bumps. Oh, no. Hey, what's up, Chip Compton? Hey, How you doing? Hey, what's up, Mikey? How you doing, buddy? Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. So we got Shane making a comeback here. Uh, this is the first lead he's had since 15 to 14. Uh, yeah. Pretty incredible work here. Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, I I, say, I think Shane was getting frustrated early in the match. He was allowing the, the outer elements to kind of affect him a little. I think he's settled in. He has. He's definitely settled in. He gets in deficits, and sometimes he just... I think he kind of gets in his own way a little sometimes. Yeah, no, 100%. And it's easy to do against a great player, too. So. Yeah, I mean, Sky, when he's breaking good, it's probably really frustrating because he's just so simple and mm-hmm. compacted. He d- he just does a lot right, you know. It's a, it's a clash of styles, that's for sure. It is. No, 100%. Me so. and Joey were talking about how, uh, how efficient Sky is. You know, he uses like a quarter of his backstroke, and Shane tends to use the entire stroke. You know, fatigue factor over long periods of time, you know, will he be able to overcome it? You know? Yeah, no, exactly. 
So I appreciate 70. you having me out here, Chip. Though it's been yeah. a great time. No, for sure, man. Oklahoma's like, popping. Yeah, Oklahoma's popping, man. If y'all haven't been out here, come on, check it out. For you know. sure. Shout out to Predator. We appreciate everything you do. Omega, uh, Acme cases, Moochie Cues. You guys are the reason why we're here. Simona's Cloth, Action 24-7. You guys are the reason why we're here, and we're able to put on these great High shows. High Society, Oklahoma Absolute. City. High Society. We actually went there the first day. Uh, they Incredible they incredible dispensary. Yes. <laughs> Definitely some uh, really good edible arrangements there. Yeah, Shane's breaking. Uh, he's you know, breaking them great. He's, you know, Shane, when he gets to break in uh, not so well, he kind of just decides to hit him a little firmer and he lets his stroke and out. And he gets a little hot, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that momentum is exactly what a player like Shane needs because he gets bored and complacent. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, so I totally agree, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess they got a new carbon white shaft coming out. Is that, that oh, do I they? Heard that? No, I don't know. I saw that on Facebook. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Are <laughs> oh, you serious? I swear. Okay. He got, a, he got a little flat on his two. Should be able to punch it out or come, you know, two rails. Yeah, to I don't. I don't like to use much outside here. I just like to stun it with a little bit below center. Yeah, stun it, or or he may have to. He may. He likes to shoot these balls with high and come center of the table or whatever. But he may just punch out. The three's hanging. So for me, I just like to cut it a little outside of the pocket and kind of punch it. Mm -hmm. So he's putting a little bit of left English. He's going to sauce it up. He sure is. Made sure you can see that three. Yeah, he, he decided to aim at that ball super full. And he did. I like that. Yeah, he really threw the ball there. You know, yeah. a lot of times I like to aim at the middle of the pocket and just use a little bit of spin. But in that case, those balls were lying funny. So he had to sauce it up. Yeah. No, I like that shot. He put a put a good stroke on it. Um, I mean, the key to this rack would be the six to the eight. Try six to the eight to the nine. You got to get good on this nine. I mean, I feel like the nine's going to be easier to fall on than the six because the nine's impeding the six. So I feel like it's really important to get a good angle here on the five. So you get a small angle on the six, so you can kind of work it the way you want to. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? See what I mean? Like here, he's. I mean. No, he, lo he looks good, man. He think uh, they just go forward and then come off. Yeah. He might he might get a little steep on the six. He Let's wants see. to get. He's gonna want to get flat on the six. That's like what I'm Pretty thinking. straight, yeah. Yeah. So we'll see what he does. Yeah, I'm not. It's hard to tell the angle from from where we're sitting, but he'll probably just roll up or he wants go to be almost to the straight. Long rail yeah. And then come out. I feel like that's a more predictable line. Mm -hmm. so if you just try to float onto the perfect line, I feel like. You're li liable to come a little steeper, over overrun it a bit. He might even play the six down in the bottom left corner if you think about it. Just stun it over. Yeah. So here you go, the angle on the six, Chip. Exactly what I was saying. This is the the one thing that could. Uh, oh, that he's perfect. To get to the eight. Yeah, he's fine. He can just roll. Okay, he might even run into the nine here and bump it up towards the side. Wow. Yeah, he's fine. So he did make it more difficult than it than it should have been, though, for sure. But he he's fine. He's just gonna come down here and shoot to nine in the. I mean, just the point of this rack is the six was a very key position ball to kind of transition to the eight, you know, because the nine's in such a suspect place. You needed to get a good angle on the eight. Uh, let's see if he can recover here with a little bit of nine o'clock English and just really aim it full and turn the ball slow and just creep it over. A little more angle than he liked, but he's fine. Uh, I don't foresee there any issue here. You know, for me, I like to um, I like to hit this with a. I might go two rails on this shot, but if not, I'm going to use outside and just float the ball. Ten ball corner pocket. Just play your cue ball down to the bottom rail. Like a three cushion billiard stroke, low right. Yeah, you get to let it out here, and yeah. it's kind of natural. Um, he kind of flexed a little. Did you see that? He kind of he does Tensed that though. He does that on his on his uh, when he's following through and all that. He's played so much. Listen, he could stand on one foot with a pirate patch over. Yeah, it's mu it's muscle memory. <laughs> I feel like a lot of it's muscle memory, and you know, that's just how he perceiving the target. Mm -hmm. I mean, he he can he sees that edge so much. He's just so familiar with it. Oh yeah. 
So Shane looking good here up three games. Um, you know, look at look at the stats. Don't you love the stats, Mike D? It is beautiful, The yeah. stats is pretty cool because uh, it just gives you an idea what why the score is what it is. For and sure, it's just but kinda it, I mean, if you notice, uh, Shane has more unforced errors, more balls missed. But balls made on break. Uh, oh. 16 more balls is huge. He's running less balls when he breaks and runs. Break and runs, 35 to 34, Shane. Okay. Even though Skyler put the first seven on him. It's, uh, you know, the stats, I love to see the stats, man. I'm glad they have that. Nine ball falls. He broke those really good. He's going to get a bad roll and get hooked here. Yeah, so, I mean, for me, I guess for that would be a touch firm, you know, because the one coming down to the long rail, I feel like if he hits it slightly slower, the one lays up a little more. Yeah, so yeah. If there's one thing he could have done differently would be just reduce his speed there, I mm -hmm. think, you know. No, for sure. From like a constructive and Yeah, but he's trying to p he hit him. Man, that's as good as you can hit him, to be honest. I mean, he's kind of unlucky yeah. that that six is going to lay right there. I'm not trying to give him a break lesson, but if you look at Sh Skyler, I feel like he's – that's why he's putting the ball so close to the rail so he doesn't let his entire stroke out. Yeah. He's, he's popping it a little different than Shane. Yeah, well, they're both, they're both break and run 50% of the time, so. Ch champions. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously, and, and it's – you know, Shane's winning, and he's broken ran more. Yeah, and it's incredible because, uh, you know, we've been watching in the booth and outside, you know, the past two days, and it looks like Skyler's outplayed him. Shane and Shane's up three games and Broken ran more. He's and he hasn't even been himself. He's got that sorcery about him. That's what's scary he about He overcomes that. it, absolutely. He does. Yeah. He's one of the strongest mentally that, that I've ever seen. And I, and I credit that probably to a lot of the world-class players he's played. Uh you know, when you get on that level where you're you're playing, you know, the best players in the world, mm -hmm. it's a little different than playing the best players in the United States. Even oh, though we, sure. we no, have great players, but, you know, just on that biggest stage gives them that mentality. Oh, it's way different. It's war for him, you know. He's he's not trying to make friends. He's trying to kick butt and take names like my old man used to that's say. That's right. <laughs> he is, and that's why he's so good. This is a good creative shot by Sky here. Uh, mm. He's not going to be happy with it, but... That's a pretty good shot by him. Hmm. It was creative. I like that shot. Well, we know he's going to thin the one and go down table. But I feel like the one's going to hit the two. So I feel like the six ball is the ball you want to hide behind. So I feel like cut it one rail into the two and send the cue ball two rails down to the bottom rail. Kind of where it's at, but maybe down un down froze to the bottom rail. What do you think about that shit? I like that shot. I like that shot. Uh, just distance, and it's kind of a three-cushion shot, like you were talking about earlier. Yeah. But Another option would be hitting it slow with inside and trying to bank it into the 10 and slow it, slow like slow spin it under the eight. I don't like that shot because I, I really I, I like the distance. The I like to get further away from the one, you know what I mean, instead of trying to do a soft touch shot here. So he went with the the first shot, but he needed to be behind the six ball. So I mean Sky's got a little a funny shot here. He can kind of bank it, a touch it inside, and try to twist the one away from the ten. Just wanna be careful you don't hit the ten. There you go. Oh good shot by Sky. So how he put a s touch of inside on that ball, and that's what caused it not to hit the ten, you know. The key there is keeping that one down table. You don't want to leave it out in front of a pocket. You know, if it's the 10, it could go down to the bottom left pocket. Yeah, that was a really, really good shot by Skyler. High knowledge. Uh, you know, a lot of knowledge goes into long distances, spinning the ball, being the duck at two rails, you know, some effort areas. Oh, yeah. You know. And he's been, that's that's one thing we were, me and Jason were talking about yesterday is how improved Skyler's uh, safety game is over the past couple of years. Like, you know, he's al he's been a great player for the past six, seven, eight years and run out, you know, break and run a lot. He's improved his safety game and his shot selection over the past couple of years. And it's impressive to me, really. Even, you know, bar table pool, 
you know, everybody, it's run out, run out, run out. He's playing safe. He's making moving games out of a lot of these games. And yes. he's winning them. Yes, he is, yeah. So he's I, put I, Shane's I, to the test. He has, I, and I love that. And I that pressure that. is what's going to allow him to get to that level of greatness, to make exactly. great players believe, hey, he's something to be, you know, Yeah, he's, shoot, he's shooting the right shot a lot. For sure. So, I, And I love that. I love seeing that. Oh, what a shot. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Replay. We need it. We got to get a replay on that one. What a great shot Shane just came with. That was incredible. So, yeah, that shot, I mean, he hits down on it, elevated with center English, kind of shortening up the angle. It's a pretty, pretty epic shot for sure. It looks like he's got an edge here, Chip. I don't know. I mean. Like he can chop it in? He's going to chop it and go like four rails up and Yeah, just slam there. it in, yeah. We're going to try to get you guys a replay. He's chopping this two in. And it looks like he's he going to do the same thing chop here. Chop it again. Yeah. What's the probability of falling on the same exact angle he just did? It's woodcutter Shane. Oh, how much wood could a woodchuck chop? We're going to have to change it to Shane. Let's chop it on in. I mean, this is a pretty So here's the angle. here's the kick shot he made, top left, folks. Pretty incredible. Uh, one rail, chops the one in. Hmm. Wow, what a shot. That'll be on the highlight reel there for sure. And he does it again and again. So Shane's kind of feeling it right here. Um, and Skyler's got to be feeling it too. I don't know if he's going to just kind of roll it in and take his medicine and play the five down on the right. Or he can try to snatch it, but don't get hooked by the six. That's kind of sketchy Yeah, well. you, you want to stay away from hitting any balls here. Uh, Think he can bend it around the seven with a touch of inside? Yeah, maybe. That's what he did. Yeah. And inside didn't grab, Papa. It did, but, he, you know, he's out in the middle of the table. He, he's not going to like this, but he's got a shot. I mean, I don't necessarily like this shot, but it... You can play it in the right corner and go four rails around. It, if I w if I was a gambling man, I bet he makes Back this. Back cut it to the left with a touch of inside. I would just I, I if I was a gambling man, I bet he makes it and runs out. I say he back cuts it to if the I left. If I gamble, I'm trying to quit. Yeah, well, you're a <laughs> legitimate guy now. You know, you're business man. You're on the grind. I love you too. <laughs> so it'll touch it inside, overcut it, and don't overhit it. Oh, he hit it pretty smooth. That yeah. was actually smooth. Good shot. If he had a little more inside, he would have avoided the bump there. <laughs> but uh, he hit it pretty clean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so thanks so much for having me out here in Oklahoma, guys. Uh, shout out to Hanshu Custom Cues, Omega Billiards. Just not sure why. Well, if I was a betting man here, I'd say he's gonna jump it, and he's probably gonna have a, a bank on the eight next. Um, he's so gonna, Shane just completely went off the air here. I mean, that's a clear indicator that he's. I mean. I think he's going through it a little right now because, you know, he's, <laughs> dude, he's he has the high gear, but he's just he, you can tell he's frustrated all day just sitting in his shell. Yeah. Like he's almost does he wants to be ice fishing today. Yeah, I mean, he he hasn't totally been all the way there, and he's winning. You know, it's it, kind of. My dad always used to say, "You judge a man not by his best game, but you know when he can win." When he can win, when he's not doing good. Game, you know yeah, exactly. Mean? That's what me and Joe used to say too. And great shot here, but he's gonna. What's he gonna do now? Uh, I think he's gonna play a thin, maybe thin the eight and try to stick him on back of the ten, like a one pocket shot. No good. Man, I don't know. It, I, it, this is one of those shots you kind of have to be up there to see what you can, what you're gonna do. You know what I mean? It looks funny from here. To me, but I mean, I know that if it's froze, the ten ball is going to travel a little further than you want. So. Uh, oh, there's a little bit
the most important shot in pool is the break. Power and control can be the difference between winning and losing. Introducing two new shafts from OBQs, the Aftershock. Built for speed and power, this shaft is designed to transfer all your energy to the cue ball. The Shockwave. This shaft is uniquely designed to promote a more square hit and the ultimate control. OBQs. Master the break. Unbelievable shot, Shane. Great shot. We we couldn't see that from here, so I mean, we get you guys a replay that of that. That was sick, Chip. That was sick. That was a great cam. He had to hit that eight so thin. I just don't even understand how we didn't even just even think to see that. We can't see the angle. That's what I was saying. It just looks so much different from here. Yeah. Everybody that was tied up from here. Yeah. You just, it's a, the television only gives you so much depth perception. Yeah, we've only got a couple angles, and it's a lot easier to see from up it's there. It's like trying to watch the television in your living room from your kitchen. Yeah. It's, it's like, like, oh, it's like <laughs> skewed. It's like, what am I looking at here? Yeah, it's a <laughs> great shot either way by Shane. Um, really good shot. So Shane's breaking out off the middle of the table. Uh, I think earlier he was on the rail. I really like this break. This is his patented, you know, what he was known for, I feel like. Some people think, you know, you got to move back on the rail. Shane can do the same break on a, on a bigger table and a small, you know. Sky moves back off the rail. I'm pretty sure when Sky plays on a big table, he, used to, he goes off the, uh, he's off the rail as well, no? Oh, yeah. But the theory is moving it back off the rail, you can, sh you can strike it like you're on a big table. Yeah, and it pops, without it pops without you hitting them as hard. Okay, yeah. I think. You know what I'm saying? You know how they're trying to get that pop? Yeah, for sure. That's why they on the bar table they use the, the rail. It just pops more more naturally. You don't have to hit them as hard, I, I feel like. You know, I have, yeah. I don't have a lot of experience the on the bar table. Yeah, I mean, you don't, you don't have so much wiggle room out in front of you. You're a bar table champion. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'll take the eight. <laughs> take it easy. I'll just take the breaks. We'll I'm retired. Some. We'll just take play some. How about this? I'll give you the. You give me the breaks. Take it easy. <laughs> what is it? Okay. All right. All right. It's got a little, it's like a little 50, 45 degree angle here. Just a little bit of outside English. Two rails to the four ball. So if you guys notice, he turns the object ball straight because if you cross the face of that ball and you just hit it with no English it's it's a much tougher shot in my opinion so it look like looks like Shane's gonna go uh, into the break um, up five games 75 good, 70 good time for a break though for Sky you know he's momentum <laughs> you know I mean I'm sure he's sick but you know Shane's kind of coming with it right now so you can't really I mean, what are you gonna do this guy's been in this spot with Dennis, and I think he Of course he has. He's not He's not tripping. Yeah, they're both so mentally strong. It's Five games is not that much. They're only halfway there, so. If you ask, I mean, maybe not Shane today, but this guy, I mean, he loves the, he loves the battle. Oh, so for sure. No place he'd rather be, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, what man, honestly, uh, great grind and, and heart by Shane here, man. He's been down the whole time, and he's getting in the lead, and and really stretching it out kind of right here at the end. It's important, yeah. I mean, it's kind of like you played a f the first half and then you battled to get, you know, you get close and then if, you know, Shane's kind of taking back the momentum saying, hey, you tried, you know what I mean? You tried to get it there. But uh, let's see if we can maintain. Look at this break. Wow. Leave it off. Oh, man. Well, uh, I mean, it, you know, nothing doing here. I mean, not much play to the say. Two yeah, five, yeah, yeah, I mean, what, what do you do here? You know, I, I don't even think, I mean, how much of an angle does he have on the one to get in any kind of trouble at all? I mean, you got to play the two five, I would believe. Uh, yeah. You know, you know, be hard pressed to try to run into any trouble if he, if he didn't. He came all the way back. Yeah, nice shot there. Oh, I don't know. Avoiding the That's combo. A little. Ah, uh, he's fine. Yeah, he's gonna have to follow two rails uh, by the seven, for sure. I'm sure. Or he could just shoot it from there and just roll up slightly. Could go two rails. Yeah. And he did. Doesn't want to overcook it here. 
Well, just a little funny uh, to play it that way, but man, I, I don't know. He's he's That's really feeling it right yeah, now. Yeah, he's in command now. Whenever you whenever you get control of that cue ball, sometimes like we were talking about how Shane was playing some some different patterns way early in this match. Sometimes it doesn't matter when you get control well, of that cue ball. You can play any pattern you like. Here's the thing. They're not funny patterns when his cue ball's under control. Exactly right. Yeah. They're different than they're different than the way Sky would play it or, or anybody a higher else. percentage. Yeah. Right? yeah like yeah. they're not the highest percentage, but when you're perfect and your cue ball's on the string, it doesn't matter. You can get away with it, and then we're not going to talk about how you're playing a goofy pattern. It's like when I see one you. pocket matches, and and you see the commentator say, "Wow, what a shot that was!" Well, it might have been the most low percentage shot in history, but the guy made it. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. Eight and out's the best move in one pocket. Well, that's right? what makes Dennis so tough playing one pocket. He he never would he never is going to shoot the shot that Joey Gray would shoot, yeah. but he executes, so it doesn't matter. A little low on this one, but he yeah. still should be it's, okay. It's, right? he, he took a ball that should not have been missable and made it to where he could potentially miss it. Huge favor to make it, obviously. Yeah, and definitely Dennis does never shoot Joey Gray shots. <laughs> no. Because he's looking for offense for most of the part, and I'm always looking for the D <laughs> defense. Uh, All right. I think we're live. We're, we're live here on uh, Facebook, folks, so if you're out there watching for free, jump on Omega TV. Omega Billiards.com and get your pass. Support these players. Yeah, you guys got to check this match out. Shane is on a run right now, uh, even after a 20 minute break, continuing his run, and Skyler's still sitting in his chair. And uh, wow, I mean, Shane's just he's looking pretty dominant, Two. feeling pretty confident. Yeah. Got to be feeling good. Um, tough when this guy starts feeling good, right? Yeah, and, and uh, it looks like a little gamesmanship here. Sky making sure that the uh, Base of the cue ball is behind the line. Had the referee out, mm. so um, you know we're we're pulling some moves out now. And meanwhile, Shane just flying the both of the wing balls in. The one, one ball, ball got a nasty kick, but he's still on it. And uh, just a little slight elevation. He's going to be tree topped with the six. Not too bad though, yeah. because I mean he's got plenty. Of, he's got close enough to where he can cue by the six. And, uh, and just elevate enough to where he can get the right side of the cue ball. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. not, it's not really like he's and super, And the good news is that the two's available. Exactly. The only problem is, Joey, look at the three ball. So he's going to have to he's gonna have to travel from the two to the get get to the three. So he, I don't know if he necessarily just wants to sense this. Yeah, well, I think, he, I think he's got he enough can. angle on this ball. And, and Shane's got such a powerful stroke. He won't have any problem getting this cue ball off the rail. I don't think he's as straight as, you, as we probably would think. I think if he pockets this ball with just a touch of right English, that it's going to come out nicely. But once again, he is elevated, so the shot becomes a bit more of a challenge, and he did just what Joey said. He was able to get the most out of the cue ball. But he still, still got some work. a little bit tough. I thought he was going to get a little right English to kind of come up on a tighter yeah, angle. I don't know. He's, he's, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. He's I got mean, an he angle. He can come straight back, though. Yeah, he can he can draw it straight back. He can, he can he? I think he can. I don't think so. I think he's a little off angle into that corner. I think he's gonna have he to can probably, follow it then. He's gonna have to follow this, I believe. Drawing it's a little bit suspect. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I think he I think he has enough of the face of the ball where he can draw you're it. Probably right. Yeah, I think you're right. And he does just that. Man, but see, I knew it was a little touchy. He hit that ball really well. Yeah, and he was he I think he knew he was flirting with running into the seven. He was just trying to run into the bottom but, side of it. You know, it. to be honest, I don't think he had much of another option. You know, I, I it, think that was the only shot he really had. Well, he could have he could have gone forward and come short side of the three, I yeah, think. That's but so hard. That's tough. He wanted to just see the three here. Yeah, I think now, he do you does. you run into the ten here or you miss the ten? I mean I'm just that's a that's a question. Well, I mean I think you, you almost have to run into the ten to try to slow the cue ball down, right? Well, I think you can play it either way, but I like running in the ten with left English. Yeah, or you just go up and down. Yeah. Well, and uh, whoa, he cue run. ball. He's okay. Yeah. Now he yeah he landed okay. That's what that was the only thing like too much speed like you were saying, Jason. I think that I would have played it with right English and ran into the ten, but you know what? Shane's patterns, no matter what we talked about earlier in the match about how he. He was running in the balls and doing this and that. Yeah, but he's playing perfect. It doesn't now. matter now. No. He's in gear. Shane is, uh, this is officially 
what we talked about when we were like, we felt that the energy was building, that we, we you know, like when you play Dennis, you feel like something's about to we happen. just never got there. He's, he's there. Yeah. So Shane's if there. If you guys aren't tuning in, this is still live on or free on Facebook right now. Yeah, we're still you free on are, Facebook. You guys are losing your minds if you're not watching this action happen right now. Because Shane is a super heater. And Skyler is definitely ready for another chance at the table. This is the definition of uh, setting your opponent down. I mean, giving him no options. Skyler's really done nothing wrong here. He hasn't pocketed a ball in about 12 games, I don't think. Yeah, it feels like 12 hours. <laughs> it's just unbelievable what Shane's doing right now. I think he's, this is going to be his 13th rack in a row. Check with my stat, man. Is that 13 in a row for. To update, we're gonna have to update the longest game win streak for sure. Arthur, we gotta update the longest game win streak for sure. It's yeah, he's won thirteen. He's won thirteen in a row. It was sixty-four to seventy. Maybe it hasn't updated yet. Yeah, maybe that hasn't updated yet. Okay, all right. Well, it hasn't updated yet because it's definitely Shane. I, well, I can tell you this. It was 64 to 70. He's won 13 racks. And Skyler has not shot but once. Yeah. Well, he had the he had the option of the push out on the one ball. Um, to start this whole thing. To, to start it. Um, now, would that go down as a cause and effect if you had that rule? No, I don't think so. It was just an option, right? It was just a decision. Ooh, not a very good solid break there, but still got away with it and got another look. Wow, and a good look at that. What a super good look, and the balls are laying really nice. Yeah, I mean, you got the six and the seven, but they lead to each other. Everything's gold. I mean, really. Yeah, I mean, maybe the five to the six may be, you know, just a little touchy. I mean, obviously it's not hard. No but way, because, the, I mean, middle of the table where the key ball is at. Yeah. But it's really the only missable ball if he if he yeah. if he sinks the yeah, one. About the I'm only saying. like real scenario yeah. where we would need to commentate. I mean, <laughs> obviously, obviously he's a, a favorite. Yeah. But the one to the two was probably one of the harder shots. Yeah, I mean, no doubt about it. Now draw over, and man, I mean, it didn't look like he got anything like he wanted on that break. And man, I see it when you're. That's what I'm telling you. Running when, good when, when he finds it. When he finds it, everything was. Everything was hard for the first 130 racks we for Shane. We did talk about that, didn't all we? All hard. That's and then crazy. He, he weathered the storm. He got through all the hard stuff, and here he is. Now stuff's going his way. I mean, he's missing. He's getting safe. This is game lead for the day, folks. In a row. game lead for the day. And, yeah, basically in a row. Wow. We're watching. Look at the TPAs. They've definitely evened out. Yeah. Shane's pocketing a lot of balls here. So I mean, yeah. he's pocketed every ball during these 14 racks. But when we talk about this five ball now, um, I would have to say what I like is whenever I landing, landing, man, he landed real good on this one to just tug it right back out. But I would like to maybe be a little bit short of it and draw it two rails into the line, but this is still fine. He actually landed real good on this. Yeah, a little short there, but, I mean, like I said, this is the only thing that would present anything even close to a problem is this shot. But this is kind of a pool player shot. You know that, yeah. that drill that they call the um, – uh, the the uh, where you go back and forth, I can't remember what they call it, but it's a really really good drill. Uh, you have to play on the high side. You you freeze a ball on both uh, diamonds. Yeah, and you got to go above, above the side pocket. Above the side pockets each time. What is that drill called? I don't, I don't know. know. I'm drawing a blank right now. That's the Fetter special. Yeah, exactly. It's a Fetter drill. Yeah, he definitely likes that. But um, and all either the while, way, Shane just an absolute stone cold killer mode right now. That's 14 racks in a row for him. Definitely. How many breaks and runs now? I think that's three. He's had multiple push-outs during this run. Well, Leads by eight. Shane is on a heater. And um, to all you guys out there watching this free on Facebook, yeah. you better. 
to maintain, and uh, hopefully this package doesn't end by the time the stream goes free, or go, doesn't go free. OmegaBilliards.com. <laughs> go support these two guys. Support Mike Hong at Omega Billiards, doing a lot for the game, helping these guys make a little coin and stay professionals. Well, and it's just good all the way around for, you know, for pool in general, watching stuff like this and them – you know, promoting these guys and, and, and watching these big matches be played out. Obviously, I'm really happy that they're happening locally for me, but they're they're going to be all over. So uh, everybody, watch out. You know. All right, Shane, back in the middle here, trying to keep the run alive. Man, it's just unreal. He's 14 racks. Now that last break was not ideal. So let's see if he's getting a little bit tired on that break. No, he's not. And both wing balls fly right in. The one ball, gets kicked around. Ball. He's going to be okay. It's at least cut. a look. Man, and three I'll tell balls you what, in a goofy though, spot. Is it? This is not the easiest. I think the three can go on the side. I don't know, but nonetheless, the four's got it going in the other corner. So but the good thing, though, is just look at it. the one and the two. They're not really in a terrible spot for each other. And the three is just right there, so if he lands anywhere on the two, he can do something with the three. Yeah, and if it doesn't go, I mean, it, the three, four combos available. I mean, it's not like there's there's not uh, there is options. I mean, I would think if, if worst case scenario, he's either gonna cr uh, cross bank the three and run into the four, right, or bank the stiff the three in, or it goes on the side. But it may go on the side. You may be right. It's just tough to tell from the camera angle. But he, if he lands real good on this two, he might even be able to come in between the four and the eight down here on the bottom side of it, but I don't know. There's, he's got options, though. So Yeah, number one here, he's just got to pocket the one and, and be able to get on the deuce. Fanned it and ran into the two, did he? Yeah, let's see. Let's get back over here. Oh, he just hit it perfect is all he yeah, did. Yeah, he's, he's in the ideal spot, and he's looking to see if he can put it in the side like you said. He can just slow roll it right past the, the point. Side view can give us a little bit of a no, – No, that's, that's worse. But I do – I'm with you. I do he think does. it plays in the side. He's looking at it now. We'll, we're going to figure out real quickly where he puts the cue ball, whether it goes. The one thing that you got to look at is, the, is just the, the mouth of the pocket and how the how far the slate reaches out. That kind of gives you a good uh, vantage I guess, point. I guess we're going to have to go. Let's go back over to the overhead yeah. so we can see he's standing yeah, right in front of the line. Yeah, if you look at the mouth of the pocket where the, where the point is at in relation to the three, it's very possible. Yeah, and if you're out there, we've we've mentioned it. If you're out there and you're on Facebook, this is going to be the last rack for free. So get out there to OmegaBilliards.com and don't miss out on this second half of this match. Yeah, you got to get in there and sweat this in with us. It's really, really a great match. Good shot. Look at this. Did he do it? Did he really do it? He split. Oh, wow. And he got a, and look, that's what I mean. What, what I was saying, everything that was going against him, now everything's going his way. Look, he gets a little flick on the eight ball. Boom. Gets Man. a little flick on the eight ball. Gets dead perfect on I the mean, three. Just a beautiful, beautiful shot there. Shane Van Boning, ladies and gentlemen, is on an absolute heater. This is a super heater. And um, Dennis, Shane's probably thinking about you a little bit right now. <laughs> All right, and we're no longer on Facebook. Shane is just running out from everywhere. I mean, it's just a gross. And You know, when you talk about patterns and cue ball control, I mean, he went a route that neither one of us even thought of. I, I actually, now looking back, I'm thinking how, how smart that decision was because there was no scratch on the side. Right. You know what I mean? He actually took a really educated shot there because there was no scratch whatsoever. The worst case scenario ran into the three and maybe skimmed off of it and got a shot. So I like that. And a little short on the nine here. Not what he wanted. Still okay. Saw a little grimace. He's okay. He's just going to go back and forth. Or just over one. More than likely he's going to use both cushions. And so something use three. interesting that I talked with, um, with Jason Weir a while back. Um, you know, whenever Shane catches that gear. The new OB Fusion is the next evolution of carbon fiber shafts. Featuring a strong carbon fiber core wrapped in highest grade solid maple, it provides the strength and stability of carbon fiber with the look and feel of a traditional maple shaft. The OB Fusion, a wolf in sheep's clothing. And he was just in a negative 
mind frame. That's and, just the way it was. That's the way it is sometimes. Yeah. You know, when, it, when everything's going against you, it seems like, what, yeah, what, can, like what was me? What can I do? You kick know? a man when he's down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nonetheless, this cue ball's flying all over the place. He, but the thing to be said about that is um, the scary part is what we talked about is that Shane – that's why we said that when Shane was only down seven games – only down seven games. Not playing, playing his best. Not his best. Everything but going against him. That means that Skyler should have really, really, really put his foot down and yeah. wasn't able to do it when Shane wasn't really yeah. when it wasn't really playing like Shane. Just so key misses or dry breaks. That's what's scary for Skyler now. Oh is that well, when Skyler's I mean, playing great. Besides I mean, the fact Shane's that he's about great. to be down ten. Yeah. And this exactly. dude looks like he's never going to stop running balls. Uh, you know, he, he he has an option here. He could play the one three. He could bank the one. The deuce is not in the Definitely best spot. Definitely the carom and play yeah, it up for the one play ball. Play the carom here. Oh, he played it, finessed it. Yeah. See, I was thinking a little fuller uh, and play the one on the side, but he was really hoping to to get something better out of that. But let's see how steep this cut is. Yeah, I think it's a little too steep for him to even look at, but you never know with this guy right now. Well, he, he could bank it cross side and follow the cue ball just basically to where the one is now. And it's possible. He could, he he's looking at it. maybe banking this ball. Or he could cut it. I bet he's looking at banking this ball because it's it's a high percentage shot to bank, but but you don't get any results on the two. Um, other yeah, than you're going to have to draw it back. Um, I mean, the only thing I could really see for him being aggressive is banking it with high inside and taking that's what the 2-4 like. combo. That's what I like. Yeah. I mean, I think that's – I mean, if he's going to be aggressive, you know, but – he doesn't have to be aggressive, you know. He's probably looking at more of a safety. Uh, or, actually, he may be looking to bank this ball in the corner and come two rails or or play two rails safety. That's probably what he's yeah, thinking. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't like banking in the corner. It's just a lot lower percentage. You don't want to turn the table over right now because you're, you've got a full look at the one ball. You do have some blockers there in the middle. But I think just he's draw something to, up. I think he's looking at putting them in that 10-4 that range with the cue ball. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Just just draw something up to yeah. to get some kind of cover here, and um, you know just keep Skyler in the chair. Man. No reason to take an unnecessary risk here. He's looking at that two, man. He keeps looking at that two like he wants to shoot at it. He's either marking where he wants to put the one. I think he he's looking right right now that he's looking to he's looking to bank the one underneath the six, and then and then potentially oh. bring the cue ball back over to the nine. In between the six eight. Right? Banking he's, in between the six, eight, four, like right he's, there. He's looking at, like, banking it to the first dime and past that side pocket on the top of your screen. Yeah. And I coming down right. here and then, you know, taking the cue ball. Definitely, definitely. That's what he's been drawing he's, up. He's, yeah, he's, he's fooling me right now. He's like, oh, okay, he's calling he cross side. There we go. We're going to see the aggressive shot. Well, so now if he really powers this ball and draws it around by the six. If he yeah. gets that aggressive with it. Oh, he's getting aggressive for sure. What's wrong with that? With low right? No, I mean That's not a bad bank. I like I like swinging it here. Keep the run going. Got right back in the middle of the table. Like I said, I don't think not he's going to have enough. Good enough. Didn't get good enough, did he? No. He may be able to throw this ball in. Man, this overhead looks like he can. It's going to require a lot, though. From this view, it looks like no no chance. But the overhead made it look like he could spin it in. It's touchy. Extremely touchy. Just one revolution too much. Wow. What a shot. Now, what I was thinking, though, is I thought he was going to draw it around and try to run up by the six or into the six. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it, what a bank, though, first off. Yeah, he made the ball. shot anyways. He's got control of the table still. He's calling the four ball, so he's going to shoot the combo. Really? Yeah, he called the four. That was safety all the way. That was a just in case kind of call. I kind of hey, figured. He might. Didn't leave Skyler a pocket either, though. I mean, I like the shot he just shot. I mean, that was a. Even though he left him a piece of it, I mean, this is kind of difficult. Skyler's laughing because he's just like, really? Like, some people are saying, let's go, Skyler. He's like, really? Uh, I don't have anything, you know? Really. But. At this point, you, you know, Shane did it. You got to manufacture something. You got to try to come with something. Yeah, I mean, you got a piece of the ball. Overcut the ball. Yeah, no good. Pretty poor effort. 
This is this is the problem. This is this is the issue that Sky has, has been known to have. Um, when things are going well, he's unstoppable. But then when he trails, things don't go his way. He can tend to flail at some balls. Wow. Well, that effort right there was just not – he didn't even come and check his line. He kind of just joked around with the crowd. I didn't really like any of that. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, when I don't have an option to do much at all, I want to try to do the best I can with whatever I have. Yeah, right? you at you least want to look at it and stall your opponent a hair. You know. Yeah, yeah, chill for a minute. Yeah. Maybe take a bathroom break. No, no kidding. Anything, really, yeah. right? You know, I mean, nothing's going right. But here we are, Shane looking to take a 10-game lead. Man. We are stopping at 100 tonight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Flirted so there a little bit, didn't he? Floated a little close to comfort, but he's fine. Let's get the overhead here. See if we can get the action. Wow. So, ten games. Ten game lead, so that means he's 17 games ahead for the day. Folks, that is, yeah, he's that won. is domination at its best for the day. Oh, he's won 16, the last 16 racks. Wow. That's, that is a, let's see the stat tracker, see if they updated it. Well, the stat tracker's got to get its mind right, is all I know. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe Shane's got the stat tracker jar, too. <laughs> because uh, I will tell you this. Uh, Shane has missed 19 balls, and Skyler's missed 10, and Shane is up by 10 games. It's unbelievable. Really, though. Absolutely unbelievable. Shane's made every ball in the last 16 racks. He's made the last 160 balls. Wow. And his... Um, Still counting. His fortune, his fortune is, is continuing. Look at this. Cue ball went all the way around the world, kissed every one ball goes. on the table, and he's dead straight in. Well, and you know when that one comes so – or when the cue ball comes down by that corner pocket at all, nine times out of ten you get that little swat, you, you know what I mean? Kick it it kicks corner. it right in there. But uh, Shane dodged everything there. He got the kiss down there, but he missed everything. Yeah, that's what I said. He, he, he weathered – Shane weathered the storm early. Now he is the storm. Everything was going <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Shane is the storm right now, and it's uh, there is not much Skyler can do but sit back and. But I mean, the one thing that Skyler can do, honestly, was a little bit less of what he did on that last uh, attempt at the table, which yeah. was mess with the crowd and uh, actually really try to bear down and focus on a certain type of shot, trying to do something positive. Yeah, I mean, listen, you know, his his next inning at the table is so crucial. Because he's, he's um, well, on the verge of just blowing this out here. You know what? Shane Shane smells blood. And uh, when when you see somebody who plays at the best level, I mean the highest level of the high, when they see you make a lackadaisical mistake like that, like, I mean, leaving him yeah, a, a feed easy, off of it. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna run off. He of thinks it. he's got him weak. And it, looks like, it looks like Shane's going to play the 6-8 the combo here. Yeah, definitely. So... Because I, I, I still think if Skyler would have played at, at least a solid type of safety, they would have shown a little bit of uh, grit, you know? Yeah, at least a, a different attempt. Or at least a more bared down try, you know? Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know if he was trying to control the, the, the object ball, the cue ball. I don't think he knows. Mm -hmm. Either way, though, Skyler's last attempt lead and Shane to uh, another two games. games. Yeah. Another, another couple games and, and maintaining control of the table. Wow. Shane's about to put how many? That's uh, 17, racks, 17 in a row. racks in a row. The last 170 balls put in the pocket by Captain America. Wow. It's unbelievable. It's no no real big packages. A lot of push outs. Just maintaining and, and, and just executing. Controlling the table. I mean, not like Skyler missed any balls. He hasn't missed a ball. No, Skyler's played... You know, very, very high-level pool. I mean, look at his TPA, 944. But look at Shane. All the balls that he's pocketed in this last 16 racks, and his TPA is still slightly below Skyler's. That's unbelievable. But, he's, but he leads he's by 11. Missed. That's what it is. Yep. 
And sticking with the big break out in the middle. Both wing balls down. Cue ball still getting kicked. One ball needs to slow up. He's going to be perfect. Wow, it slowed up, and I think he's got a gap. And he a perfect, perfect angle. Wow. I mean, that's a textbook stop, stop, stop after he can get on that too. This two, is a, two this balls is a down joke. on the break. This game right here is a joke. Yeah, and he's looking at going over to the long round, playing the deuce in the side. I don't know why he would want to do it. Just float out and play the two in the corner and stop your shot, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Just, But for some reason, he's wanting to move it. And he did what you said. He tried to come back over. He didn't really necessarily like the side. See, I don't know why he didn't play it past the five. Did it not go? Uh, I think it, I think it goes. But it's a bigger pocket to the other side. Yeah, he, he was just shooting at three quarters of a pocket, and this way he gets a full pocket. I think he's okay. Yeah, of course. But he, what is he going to play? He's got to play it out. I think he's going to play it one rail out for sure. He likes to let the aggressive stroke just make out. Make sure he clears the six. Here's the key. He Good did. Shot. Can't hit that ball any better. Shane is, man, domination at the moment. Just stay under the six here. Wow. And nothing he can. So this is that thing that we were talking about. I mean, just Shane just unleashing something uh, you could feel was building. Yeah. You could feel it building. You didn't know if it was going to come, though. That's for sure. Because, it, you know, it, it, it was there. Yeah, and I mean, anybody that's ever watched Shane play knows how uh, great he's capable of playing. Uh, but watching <laughs> watching throughout this match, it was just like so you knew that something was something was going to happen. And uh, maybe it never did, but it sure is now. Uh, but, I mean, when you're Skyler, it's just this is that situation. You know, Jason, I mean, like, you know Skyler just as well as I do. I mean, we've, you know, we've known him forever since he was a kid. You know, um, what do you feel like he needs to do for himself? I mean, as far as, you know, because you've backed him in matches, you've seen him in big action, and you've seen him under the highest, you know, the highest of the high. What do you do? I mean, number one, the last shot, his last inning, I mean, it's going to cost, it's already cost him three. Mm -hmm. You don't know how many more it's going to cost him, and you don't know when your next opportunity is going to come. So if you're Skyler right now, you have to be prepared. you got to put everything else out of your mind, and you have to understand that when you get an opportunity, it's your turn. Yeah. You know, you got to go and you got to fight back. I mean, there's a lot of ebbs and flows in this. Long race, playing on a bar table, wow. two of the best. Look at this. Look at this. This is just disgusting. Yeah. I mean, you don't know when your next opportunity is going to be. And if Shane continues on this path, I mean – your next opportunity, I mean, it may be over. Yeah, that's you know, I mean, yeah, I'm not exactly. obviously not over, over, but I'm saying. I know what you mean. You know, like, like yeah. 18 games or something. He's yeah. done 12 now. Yeah, it, it could it could slowly, slowly, slowly get worse and worse if you don't really buckle down. And that's kind of what I liked about Shane's approach to the beginning of today was he actually, uh, Skyler broke around those first three. Things were looking like they were still feeding Skyler's way. He was real adamant about bearing down on certain situations that he wasn't bearing down on yesterday. So a lot of really tricky a, outs. A lot yeah. of really tricky outs early from Shane. He looked a lot more focused, or he looks obviously a lot more focused today than he was yesterday. But just being very cautious about certain things. But and what right. a, what a shot there! I mean, to to go right in between the eight four on the rail. Yeah. Come out perfectly. It almost seems like we're expecting it now. Yeah, this well, gross. this is this is the Shane that we're used to seeing, right? I mean, yeah. the years that we were seeing, day one, and earlier today from Shane, I mean, it's a little bit unfair to say that you can't believe he's doing the stuff that he was doing, but, I mean, it was tough to believe it That's after shit. watching him play, Definitely. you know? Well, I mean, I would say, you know, if I was Skyler, and, I mean, I've been – I've been on the receiving end of somebody really coming with it on me. You know, I've never played Shane a race to 150, so I don't know how this feels. But It doesn't uh, feel good right now, I, I can promise you that. But This you know, is I, tough for Shane. Look at this reach and, and, and being jacked up. Something overhead. he doesn't see like how here. Goofy it is. He's going to be forced to play on the short side of the six here. I think it's okay, though. I mean, he might be doing a little TV showing right now. No, I don't think so. There's something he doesn't like. A little Hollywood. No, he's trying to keep his foot on the ground, I think. 
Yeah, yeah he was a little perfectly. Hollywood, and then. <laughs> no, he's all right. He's uh, I was saying, like, I mean, I heard Allison Fisher say a long time ago, whenever I was a kid, that whenever somebody's breaking, running rack after rack on you, that really just you're supposed to just bear down and focus on the racks and you know think about what you're going to do when you get to the table you can't you can't you can't think about getting down you can't think about getting up because if you if you get way too up or way too down you know you're going to let your emotions get too much into it so you just got to think about what you're going to do when you get to the table yeah you just got to forget about the score you just got to play one rack at a time but have you ever noticed when players fall into each other's rhythm like one player plays real slow or the other player plays real fast and like one guy starts playing like the other guy. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, like, listen, we're, we're only seeing one guy play here for the last two hours. I know. We haven't even seen the other guy come up. <clears throat> yeah, it's hard to even talk about what Skyler's done wrong because his TPA is still higher. Oh, he hasn't done anything wrong. He's lost 20 games in a row. Yeah, he's, he hasn't done anything 19 wrong. 19 or it's 19, right? It was 64 to 70. Jeez. He's please. won 18 games. It's absolutely, absolutely one of the sickest runs of bar table pool I've ever seen in my life. Look at that. He, he's now made 140 balls more than Skyler. And he's missed nine balls, though. He's missed 19 balls. I mean, nine balls more. Yeah, think. nine balls more, and he's up by 13. And he's got unforced errors. He's got, wow. More, more unforced errors, more, more balls missed. Skyler with the safety errors, though. That's Less a, dry breaks for Shane. That's a big stat. That's a big stat. And the safeties. Yep. The safeties and the dry breaks. That's where Skyler's probably lost his – it hasn't been his efficiency on the table. Skyler's been extremely efficient on the table. Yeah, he hasn't really missed many balls, taking care of all the clean racks. And Shane off to smack him again here, looking to take a 14-game lead. I mean, that game that Shane kicked that ball in and carrying the 10 and jumped that ball, wow, that was a big game. Seven ball, like it had Watch eyes. This. Watch the kiss, 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 kiss. Nothing, but he's got an easy safety here. Oops. Uh, he might be able to make that ball. He might be able to bank it. Man, he might be able to spin that ball in. It's uh, this camera angle is is miss is misgiving. I don't, I don't think he can. I don't think he can cut the ball in, can he? I mean, he'll let us know real quick. Maybe, maybe bankable. If no, not, he's, though. he's looking at the bank, just like cause I could tell by the way he was cueing it, because that's the kind of speed like you need to put to on. Punch the punch yeah, you like got to like outside. punch and let it throw in mm -hmm. there. Yeah, yeah, that's the kind of stroke he was looking at right there. High Society, Oklahoma City, Tim Cable. All right. And there's a, a ton of safety options available if he doesn't like the bank man but when you're feeling hot and you've got this bank right here you feel like you're an extreme favorite yeah Why i mean obviously he's a favorite to make the bank but then what's he gonna do bank the deuce cross side no i feel like the cue ball is gonna float off of the, the off the five towards the two yeah you know what i mean because it's not gonna really it's not gonna stop right there you know maybe he's going for the safe probably should really yeah, yeah excellent he's laying there Excellent shot. Broke out the six as well. It's a really good shot. Hey, kind of tough. They're, they're all saying, let's go Sky, but, you know, what, 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 what do they want him to do, kick? I know. That's got to be almost, you know, sometimes that's one thing a lot of people will say, like, Joey, uh, w would you rather play a big match in your hometown with your family there watching you, or would you rather play a match uh, on the road? I'm like, put me on the road, please. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes a big fan club can be sharking, but, you know, some people like it one way or the other. Sky with a nice little spin kick Good there. Good shot, Skyler. Well done there by Skyler Woodward. Well Woodward. done. That's there, exactly there. what we were talking about that there, Joey. I mean, Skyler, your your next trip to the table, you, you have to execute and you have to do something to flip. Yeah, you got to turn the tides yeah. one way or the other. And Shane's just owned, he's just owned the, the I mean, obviously he's ran out of time, but. Man. The push outs and the, and the little moving stuff during this run has just been all shame. Well, one more stat tracker. We'll look at the safeties. The safety errors by Skyler, 8 2. Uh, so Shane, obviously the favor, favorite in the moving game. And now, I like this as a little billiard shot. You can clip this ball and you can go two, three rails behind the eight. 
and try to put the one in some type of a funny position. Or you can come all the way around the world. But I think he's looking to come off of the one, three rails behind the eight, or maybe behind the ten. Two rails behind the ten. But the only problem is you leave that one so close to those balls. Might. You leave any kind of offensive shot, he can he maybe get a, get away with something. But I don't know. Spin it into the three and cut it over there. That's a good shot. He's going to have to use the ten. Didn't have the angle to get to the eight. That's a good shot. That's a really good shot. I mean, Skyler's got nothing. Absolutely nothing. I mean, if I have to, I mean, you know, really, what it, what it, are you going to do here, like? Man, you gotta you gotta thin this ball. Yeah, if this was nine ball, you may see Skyler just he's calling the, he's calling the one ball in the bottom right here. Yeah, so he's gonna try to stop his cue ball there and let the cue balls uh, stay just just right there and let the uh, one ball run away from it. It's really all he had. I mean, honestly, that was all he had. And he got he got safe, but I don't um, think he got safe. I don't think he I got think safe at all. He can no, shoot this one right in the shoot, side. shoot it straight in the side. Yeah, I was going to say, what worst case on? scenario, he could jump. The bad thing is people are looking for a reason to clap. You know yeah. What I mean? Like, it's look, like <laughs> this, this view here, at, at first glance, it looks like the, the nine may impede the path, but he's perfect. The only work Shane has here is the three ball. And he's natural he's breakout trying now. Trying to get a nice angle here on the deuce. Man. The five ball's helping him if he... Doesn't hit it cleanly. Oh, he's sitting good. This is a uh, pretty yeah. natural angle to come into that two. Just play it with straight high. I mean, coming into the six, I mean. Because uh, if you hit the six on the top side, you're absolutely perfect. And that's laying real good for a natural angle to just come straight across. Kind of like that top angle, actually. It looks better. Yeah, let's take a peek here. See if Shane, he goes into the three, splits him. So he's going to have to play a combo here. Well, unless, unless. Yeah. Nope, it doesn't go. So, yeah, he's disappointed in that one. Yeah. Now, this is a, a tricky little spot. I mean, he's got an option to play a real, uh, relatively easy safety. Um, two railing the three up to the corner pocket, maybe calling the three two rails. But did he say call a five? He did. Oh, so he's going to thin the three and try to carry him the five. He's going to try to go off rail the first rail. off the five. Yes, off the three, rail first, five. Wow. Now, that's, that's, a, that's confidence, and that's tough action, folks. This is a real tricky shot that Shane's trying to attempt here. But he doesn't really have anything else. Yeah, well, I mean, Maybe it's definitely the right shot. Probably he could play a situation. safety, but he does not guarantee anything there. Oh, he just played it off the oh. bottom of the five. I, I thought he was calling. I, I thought that ball had no chance to go. Uh, yeah, I didn't either. I thought that ball had no chance to go. Wow. Yeah, sometimes the camera can be a bit deceptive. Well. Nonetheless, a great shot by Shane. It rubbed it man, on the way in. It's just got to be like, what do you do if you're Skyler? This is about to be 20 games in a row. It's about to be a 14-game lead. <sighs> left A lot of left English on this ball. Interesting. Oh, so he just trusted a little thicker hit and just made sure he stunned it in there. I like that. You know, it's like one thing I've learned from a lot of these good players is they'll they'll go ahead and they won't cha they won't change their line. They'll just change the spin of how they throw the ball from from like a straight on hit because they trust the thicker hit. And that's something that I learned from Jeremy a while back. That it's pretty uh, pretty intuitive stuff. You hit the ball thicker with just a touch of spin versus trying to cut the ball. You know right. what I mean? And you get a lot more uh, a lot he, more energy on it. <clears throat> but Shane's talking about energy. Shane's got it. Yeah. Looking to pull the 14 game lead after trailing seven. Wow. I mean a uh, completely different human being from yesterday. 20 games in a row. But it was something that I saw earlier too. Like I think both of us, like it was something to recognize of how he was addressing the table, his tempo around the table, his stroke tempo, a lot of things that were happening that were very, very different than yesterday. I'm 
Somebody just told me they thought it was 22 games in a row, but I think it's 20 on the number, right? That's 20, yeah. Uh, he was down 64 to 70 at the beginning of this run. Skyler's only had a few attempts at the table. Nothing offensive. I mean, really? No, I mean, no, no, nothing offensive. 20 games in a row, Shane has made the last 200 balls. The last 200 balls. Wow. And That's if you look at the stat record. tracker, look, he's up 100 and he's up 150, 51 balls. Jeez. And they were tied. He was slightly behind most of the match. He's won 20 racks. And got a kiss. The cue ball got another kiss. He's got another straight kiss. in on the one. Look at this. Will the three ball stay clean? No, it welded to the eight. But I, he can play it in the top corner, I believe. He can play it where he's going to play the one here, I believe. If not, the deuce is available pretty close Maybe to it. Maybe it doesn't go. It's fro it, it looked like it, fr it, it looked like it went up. It did look like it rocked like, right yeah, on it. Like yeah. it welded to it. But, like I said, the deuce is, is right next to the three. So you would think if it does not have a pocket, Shane have the ability to manipulate it in one way or another. He's That's looking at it now. I'm telling you, I don't think it, I don't, I really don't think it goes. I think it froze right in a spot to where it just doesn't go. The only, I don't know, the problem, well, I, to me, it looks like it probably goes, but position on the seven would be extremely difficult because you can't use the pocket. You know what I mean? You right. Can't, you can't, like, hit any kind of force. Like, you could possibly make it, you know, but. Yeah, you'd have to use the rail and you'd have to hit yeah. it sl sl uh, slow. Yeah, you'd have to hit it into the point, the right yeah. point. Yeah. But maybe he can land straight on it where he can just drag it right back into it, which I think that he might do. Does a 3-8 look yeah, wired I mean, well, inside? What, what if he just gave himself an angle here to just be able to draw into the top of the 8 off of the deuce? That's Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, yeah, yeah, just, just, peel, just kind of peel it off. Oh, yeah, that's what he's going to do. He's just going to power right back into the 3 or the or the 8. Doesn't even way. matter. He's going to try to just, yeah, you can see him loading up for it. He's going to draw right into him here. Well, it looks like he's queuing with high. Oh, maybe it goes. I guess I didn't really think about well, it that. Must, it must go. Wow, definitely played yeah. me for a fool because I didn't think it could But e even from that, that view that you just looked at, it doesn't look like it goes. So. Yeah, it oh. doesn't. It and went it went clean in. as a whistle. Wow. Easy well, enough. Oh, it landed a funny on this seven, though. Real funny, actually. I mean, but, the, I mean... Shane loves this shot where you use high inside. Or, uh, or just a draw big power out. draw. Yeah. He's just going to cinch it back. But you know what I was talking about, like high high inside, high inside and kind of two rails yeah. back to the middle of the table. Cheat the but pocket, creating a little bit more of an angle. I like that, though. Keeping it simple, that's more of a Skyler play right there. All right. Know? Yeah, just take your medicine, take your shot. kind of goes to show where Shane's head's at. He's, he's doing the right things. I like it. It's easy to do the right things whenever everything's going for you. Everything's right? going your way, and the cue ball is is under control. And you might get into no man's land here. Oh, well. Close to the 50-yard line. A little bit of a tricky shot here, a little bit of a tester that we haven't seen Shane have to execute in a while. Most of these shots have been a little bit more straightforward. But nonetheless, like you said, I mean, yeah, well, Shane's just – kind of searches for things like this sometimes opportunities to uh, let it out oh and he didn't let it out hmm. it's, it's pretty thick but still I think he almost had to to beat the scratch right man twenty one in a row folks this is just unbelievable the most important shot in pool is the break. Power and control can be the difference between winning and losing. Introducing two new shafts from OBQs, the Aftershock. Built for speed and power, this shaft is designed to transfer all your energy to the cue ball. The Shockwave. This shaft is uniquely designed to promote a more square hit and the ultimate control. OBQs. Master the break.
Yeah, wow, Connor. we just got word that Conor McGregor got uh, broke his foot, right? Broke his ankle. Broke his ankle. Wow. Yeah. Oh, lost the cue ball a little bit. Look got at the some, one. Look at the two. Six. Look at the two. Look at the six. Look at the eight. Um, Jump cue city, right? Yeah. I think you have to, right? I mean, why wouldn't you? What's going to stop you right now? You probably miss it and get safe, you know? <laughs> the way everything's going. Well, yeah, what's to stop you, really? I mean, you're one of the best jump cue cueists ever. And, and you're uh, close. You're close, close to the ball. It's, it's and very also available. It's perfect angle to get position on the four. You got a, ball, a stopper right there in the middle of the table if you don't hit it great. Wow. But it's one of those things. I mean, this is definitely not a hanger, but it's definitely a, it's a shot that Shane t is not afraid of. Yeah, you'll take it for sure. Perfect bridge to cue with. And yeah, kind of yeah, like yeah. it. Good scenario for a jump. Fedor would be chopping, chopping. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. a hanger. Yeah. It's a hanger for most pros, I think, as long as you stay short of the oh, nine here. I nine. think he's okay. Right in the window. This is just strong. This just, there's nothing that can happen wrong for That's him. what I'm saying. Everything is going his way right now. Paid his dues. We're not Facebook Live anymore, I hope. No. Because if they were, yeah, this is like, you're getting your money's worth watching Shane really put a barrage. That's what old Donnie Brown, old road player back in the day, used to say. He's like, man, I'm getting hit with a barrage. <laughs> Shane's really doing it right now. And not the right side of the five where he wanted here. He's going to have to either. work the cue ball a little bit. Or he, or underneath he, the eight with right. Yeah, or or he could just you know, he could just roll it in, just take his medicine there, and just nah, take the I think cut. He's on the low side. He's gonna yeah. have to come. Yep. In. He's gonna have to draw it, like you yeah. said. Draw just it. To done it. Oh, he played the higher part of it, which, is, the which is fine. Didn't hit it. He didn't really like cinch it as well as he wanted to. That's why I was thinking draw it. In like get into the, the cue ball. Eight, but you get into to, the cue ball. You want to take the side out of play though, right there. He's still okay. Mm -hmm. You gonna play this multiple rails with high English and make sure you get uh, just get through the ball, right? Yeah, I gotta get through the ball, but you don't want to land back over where the six at six is at, so you might just roll it. Yeah, it's one of the two. You either really power it and come back over. And you might have landed funny. Now I don't think this seven, seven goes past the ten, does it? I think it does. It clears that ten easily. Yeah, he's okay. He actually landed pretty pretty decent. Let's see if we can get the overhead view. Yeah, 100% goes past the, eight, the the 10. And the cue ball's off the rail. It would be a little bit different if the cue ball was frozen. So it's just like, it's little things like that. If the cue ball was frozen, that would be a much more difficult shot right yeah, you there. you got to play it with high English, and then yeah. all of a sudden you got to travel a lot. I mean, look at Shane looking to stretch the lead to 16 games. Cannot believe we're saying it. I, I mean, really, this is like, this is a jaw dropper. 22 games in a row. Wow. Pretty strong. Uh, you take somebody like Shane and how disappointed he was in himself last night. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's, he, Shane was so disappointed last night, he didn't even break his cues down. He just grabbed his, stuck his cues in his bag, full put together, all of them, and just Somebody's ran out of the door. Just he's ran like out. bumped into, like, a candy machine? Yeah, he, like, chest bumped the candy machine <laughs> on the way out. <laughs> well, hey, there's Skylar Woodward. We haven't seen him in a while. Scholar said, Should, hey, Scholar said, I'm going to check the rack just so I can stand up for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. He, he just got to stretch his legs out a little bit. He hadn't got a chance to play pool. Yeah, this is just, this is unbelievable. Should have ordered dinner. I mean, really. And a little flat there with the cue ball, but like I said, he's wow. getting the kisses. Got the kiss. Okay. It oh, was wow. 62 to 70. So this is a 24 game run. 62 to 70. 
Yeah, well, this might be the end of it here, though. At least offensive. He could bank. The deuce is right in the, right in the corner here, Joey. You think he's going to go offensive and try to bank this cross side? Let's see what the angle looks like. I mean, I think he could slam cut this ball, man, but I think he's got to have to bank it. Like you said, he could slam cut it, but that's just silly because I think that he's he he's going gonna, gonna to bank this ball. He can just kind of drag the cue ball, right? Just he could play a super precise save and just draw underneath the four and seven, but I really don't see Shane doing that right now. I, I mean, After winning 24 shoot, right? games in a row, yeah, let's see how he's queuing on this, folks. And I, I mean, I don't, I, necess I don't think this I think he's a big he's favorite going. to make this bank, yeah. right? He just sideboards if he hits it short. Yeah, and he's just got to drag the cue ball Perfect. right like this, Jane right in it. the heart. Deuce is available. Wow. Now, the what next question really is, do? is it the four seven? Is he going to have to play the four seven combo? I think. It, oh, it doesn't even matter. It goes in the other corner. He can play the <laughs> four seven combos. A joke. He's making commentary real easy. <laughs> or really hard. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, or really <laughs> difficult because it's like, man, this guy is just going to make everything. And, and it takes he breaks, and then you just say, okay, he's going to run out. Yeah. So how about them Yankees? Yeah, <laughs> how about how about Connor? <laughs> Definitely going to be. Um, Connor McGregor's retiring. For sure. 16 game lead after trailing seven. Unbelievable. Trailing as much as 11 earlier today. And winning that many in a row. He was down eight games at the start of a 24 game consecutive win streak. And to build on that with this run. 25 games. In a row. And this right here is why nobody wants to play Shane. Ten ball. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh I think that is uh definitely <laughs> pretty obvious now. <laughs> Man, nasty. You know he's feeling good when he goes three rails around there. Save him some time from walking around the table. Yeah, less less uh, miles on his feet. Yeah. Getting a nice I'm little. I'm pretty sure these guys stat trackers and they're going to be all right with their 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 walking. <laughs> well, maybe not Skyler's, but Shane's definitely. He's probably walked a few miles. You know, somebody told me like uh, how many times, uh, how how many laps around the table does it take to to make a mile? You know what I mean? So it's like it's 5,300 feet for a mile, right? Yeah. So you think about that, you walk around the table nine feet, or how many feet is it around the table? So it's uh, seven feet, three feet. It's a lot, you know what I mean? But it, 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 honestly, these guys have walked several miles. All right. Well, here we go. Feels like you need something very unlucky to stop this. Not going to happen because that one ball is looking like it's going to dress up. No. But he left a combo. Going to shoot the 1-8. I don't care. Don't think he's going to cut this one ball. It does cut, though. Yeah, let's see that side view. I think he can cut it. Yeah, but that cue ball looks a little squirrely. So does that combo to me. Yeah. I mean, hell, he might as well shoot a ball with his eyes closed the way that everything's going right now. Yeah, he's I mean, definitely the, cutting at it. the cue ball, the cue ball, if he, I mean. Kiss he, off the eight. May not, he may be able to just miss the eight. Just like that, one, uh, two, up right. in the middle. Man, it looked way thinner than that to me. But Man. This is just gross. Well, I mean, there's there's no no real problems here now. He might even shoot the 310 here. Nah. He looked at it. I promise you he looked at it. I don't know why. As good as he's playing? Yeah, but look, the, I mean, the 4-5, or five, I mean, there's nothing, no problems. He is. He's going to shoot it. I don't know about that. With the template there, like you said, I guess worried. it just doesn't even matter right now. He's not worried. It just doesn't even matter. 88 to 70. 18 wow. game lead. How many run? How many ball? How many racks in a row is that? Uh, I don't even know. He was down. Well, no, it's 26 now. Well, how many breaking runs? Oh, uh, there was a safety battle two racks mm -hmm. ago, I believe. Sky oh, Skyler did shoot once uh, a little bit ago. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, he was asking if a break and if a combo counted as a break and run. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's just a win. It's not the Earl Strickland million dollar deal. Maybe three, <laughs> maybe three, maybe three in a row there. But look at this break. It's just getting grosser and grosser, and still ends up with a shot. It's going to be a little bit of a tricky one, it's but be let's another see this. bank. Now the good thing about this bank is he can actually shoot at it with a natural, natural line. He doesn't have to manipulate it any or anything because he can roll one rail for the three, and the three's in a great spot. Anyways. Yeah, just it looks like it's probably going to be a touch of outside here. Yeah, he's just going to yeah, he's I mean, going to creep just, it in. Just creep it in. Just pocket a typical, speed. A typical bank. Hit the hit a little thicker with some spin to help it a little yep. bit and, and get guaranteed Gotta hold your shape. cue ball. He hit it a little harder. No, he I hit it weak. Skyler has an opportunity, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna see yeah. the bluegrass badass. Take That's a break. Table. He's gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna take a quick break. Yeah, let's take well. a little break with All him. Right.
we're back. Looks like Sky sunk the